morning guys it's 9 30 on Monday this is pre shower face so apologies um, just made myself a bagel just relaxing catching up on some YouTube but then I'm gonna take a shower because I have a busy day um, let me put you there so you're not so wobbly Ashley walked in the door this morning at 5 15 so that was good news she um, she left here last night at 20 past 7 and I said, I hope we see you. And she goes, we'll see. And uh, it was good. The manager she was working with actually has an internship. So it was good. At least Ash knew she had to be out of there by 7. Um, but she did. She walked in at 5.15. She came in and let me know she was home, which I always ask her to do. So she's sleeping now and she has to go back tonight. I'm going to love and leave you guys for now. I'm going to eat my breakfast, take a shower and get myself in the office and get going. So take care and we'll talk to you soon. Bye guys. So my face seems to be getting a little bit more color, a little less red, except there. You still see this. So I put some more tan lotion on it. There's a big white line I'm gonna show you. <laughs> but just so it's not so obvious right now. Roxy's looking at me cause I'm sighing. She's right there. <laughs> Um, yes, yeah, so I'm just going to finish doing what I'm doing up here, then I'm going to go down and start working downstairs, running the charges and stuff. And we're going to take the day from there. When Ash wakes up, I'm going to see if she wants to run over to Coles with me. She may not want to, she may just want to veg because she's got to go back, but uh, we'll see. It'll be her choice. Oh, I had to laugh. Doorbell rang. I kept trying to get in the shower. Pete rang like three times and I kept trying to get in the shower. It was a good job he did call the last time. Oh, and then the place where he booked the car in called here instead of Pete's cell phone, so I was talking to them. I came back upstairs and the doorbell rang. So I run downstairs. I hate answering the doorbell when I'm still in my PJs. Um, but I put my dressing gown on and I go to the door and the mailman is just going back to his truck. He had a package for me and he just put the slip through the door, which means you have to go pick it up from the post office. And it was actually the package from England. I had another order coming, those waters and um, crisps and stuff. And I finally found Ashley's Ribena, frizz, uh, fizzy Ribena that she wanted. <sighs> I'm so glad I caught him because that box was heavy. I had um, fairy liquid in it and a um, another fabric softener. So if I'd have had to go pick that up, pick that up from the post office, there's a lot of steps outside the post office. I wouldn't have made it. The guy actually bought it in and put it on my couch for me, which was really nice. And I was like, then I suddenly felt very self-conscious how I was dressed. I'm like, sorry, it's been a long weekend. We work it all weekend. I goes, it's all right, boo. <laughs> it gives us a wink and walks out the door. I have to bring it in and put it on the couch. And he did. And I appreciate that. So on that note, I'm going to get back to work. I will talk to you later. Bye guys. Okay. okay, so we're running out. We're gonna run and pick up our stuff now and then go for lunch, right? Yeah. Here she is, the tired one. How many hours have you done in two days? It's a baby count. <laughs> like 26 in two days? I think so. And she's got another one tonight, but we are gonna go out and eat and get her fueled up. Oh, can you take this actually? Because the seatbelt's in my burn part on my neck. I had crazy calls this morning about baseball pictures. But I must admit, oh, I'm flowers around. I prefer to be busy. I'd rather be running around like a chicken with my head cut off than twiddling my thumbs. I just have a lot to do. Oh, Cheyenne brought pizzas for us. Oh, that was nice. So I stuffed my face. Taken got you food. You would have had nothing all day. Yeah. But because you got some food before, even though I didn't go ten hungry hours at all. Later, that's good. So far, we're having a lunch fail, aren't we? Yes. We went all the way to the outback. Parked the car, went to go to the Outback, it's closed, walked right back to the car and the woman tried to charge us. So we fought it and got it for nothing. Now we're over at Cheesecake. 
hopefully, right? Yeah. So now we're walking over to the cheesecake. This shouldn't be closed, should it? Oh, sorry. Oh, you did? Okay. So. So we came, we're in a different spot than we usually get, aren't we? I like it over here. We're right by the door. Thank you. Bread just appeared. We're in the outback. No, we're not in the outback. Outback didn't want our business. We can't go to outback for lunch ever because it doesn't open till four o'clock. Which is stupid. Buffalo blast. How are they? Terrific. You can see I don't like it at all. It's a lot for two, but we'll be taking them home. Look, I'm talking to Claire. She went with what I usually get, the chicken palm, but she's only eaten half of it. And I went with the Navajo. <laughs> and I can only eat half. Look at the size of it. And there's the other half there. It's like a salad on a sandwich. Yeah. Say that again because it sounds healthy. It's like a salad on a sandwich. It's a salad sandwich. So all like the pizza crust. It does, right? So all that's going to be going home with us. Enjoy. Hey guys, 7.30. Hope everyone's doing well. Pete and I just got back from the baseball. Went very well. Waited around about an extra half an hour. Because one of the ladies wanted her son, a daughter that was on another team to come over and have her pitch taken. So we waited. We're nice. Caught up with a couple of people I know um, from town. Had a little chat while we were over there. Not talking about my nanny days because one of the ladies had nannies. I was a nanny. See where I'm going with this? I never had a nanny. I was a nanny. But um, yeah, she was talking about how she likes to keep in touch with her nannies. And Pete told them I didn't. And Pete was saying, yeah, my wife was no pair and this and that. And she keeps in touch with her kids. And the lady asked me how old my kids were now. And I said, well, one is 36, <laughs> one is 33. And one is 31. They were 0, 3 and 6 when I came over here. Hard to believe this July. I've been here 31 years. But anyway guys, I'm tired. I put my PJs on already. I'm going to just make myself an iced coffee. It's very warm out tonight. It's really nice. Ashley just got some good news. Um, her manager that was going to do the overnight with her, unfortunately, is sick. And she said to Ash, I know you're smiling right now, but we're not doing the overnight because there's no other managers on duty to do the overnight. So Ashley gets the night off, which is great. Cause she hasn't slept that much this afternoon. She tried to sleep while Pete and I were out, but it's hard when you know you've got to go to work. So that is brilliant news, which is what it started off to be two overnights instead of three, and now it's back to the two. And like I said, we added up her hours. She did 29 hours in two days, so that's more than enough. So now she has a couple of days off. She's free and clear until Thursday. She can have some fun and enjoy herself. And then she has a regular morning shift that day. So I'm going to go download this, guys, because I'm absolutely shattered. I've been running around all day with Ash uh, all afternoon. And then over there with Pete. So tomorrow I have to be glued to the office and get my work done in there. Um, I gotta go change, it's hot up here. Whew. I'm still red in the face, but it's calming down some. It just stings. It stings here and here still, but it'll disappear. At least I look like I have a wee bit of colour now, so that's something. Anyway, hope everybody over there had a lovely bank holiday Monday. Enjoyed yourself. Mother, I'm going to call you tomorrow. If you see this before I call you tomorrow, I haven't spoken to you in a week, and that's not good enough. <laughs> But it's just been, we've just been on the go. And I'm, hopefully you have too. I'm hoping you're feeling 100%. And uh, be prepared if, actually, yes, be prepared for a yelling out if you haven't been to the doctor. So get your story ready if you haven't been. Right. Love and leave you guys for tonight. Have a wonderful Monday night. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.